A 30,000-year-old woman buried under mammoth bones had something shocking in common with us wrinkles. From the moment humans began burying their dead, we've been haunted by signs of aging. Ancient Egyptians painted their elders with sunken cheeks and gray hair, while Chinese emperors chased immortality through toxic mercury potions. By the Middle Ages, age was feared and revered old women were saints or witches, depending on the century. Fast forward to today, and Silicon Valley billionaires are pumping young blood and freezing bodies, desperate to slow the clock. But what really changed in all this time isn't how we age, it's how far we'll go to fight it. Scientists now trace aging not just to time, but to tiny damaged cells misfiring, DNA breaking down, and telomeres shrinking like burnt-out fuses. In 2012, researchers found they could rewind some of this damage in mice, making aged organs young again, sparking a global race to hack human longevity. But as we chase eternal youth, one question remains if death gives life meaning. What happens when we try to delete it? The future of aging isn't just science, it's a moral test. Would you trade everything you are to live forever? Because some already are trying.